let's get a simple introductions on records. All right, we're back and once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about records. Now, this, as you can see, is a very short tutorial because records in theory are a very, very straightforward thing. So let's just create one. So in our custom package over here, we're going to create a new Java class over here and we're going to choose the record. This is going to be a player, so we can imagine this is a player, for example, for Minecraft. Now you can see this looks almost like a class. However, it is a little bit different, right? We have this weird, we have the parentheses right here. Well, let's just put in a string player name right here, right? And let's also put in an integer, let's say experience level, right? And anything else we do not need to add because the record is sort of a very easy way an efficient way actually to well get everything generated like right so what we can do is when we now make a new player over here you can see new player right we're going to call this steve and we're going to make a new layer you can see we can just use this and you can see we have to supply a string and an experience level so it is almost as if we've just created a new object over here right a new class and what can we do with steve well we can get the experience level we can even get the player name and all of the different other methods for from an object are also available so basically it automatically basically gets you the getters over here for the player very interesting indeed and what you can also do is if you print out the entire thing right so player steve over here right then what it looks like is kind of like this so if i were to just output this it's going to look like this you know we have a player and that is player name equal to steve experience level equal to 30 now the reason why this is pretty cool is because that makes it incredibly easy to read and write to records right so this is a great way to basically use something to write it to a file and or to read it out from a file so in minecraft modding records at this point are used heavily 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 for any type of object that is serialized and read in there are records now that are used for recipes for example and things like that in minecraft that is why i wanted to just you know just the teeniest bit introduce the record keyword over here to you know just show you and ba they are basically used with with a serialization tool from mojang themselves called a codec and a codec is you know they they basically sort of build a record from a codec or a codec from a record it is very interesting indeed but that is basically the general idea of records over here they're just very easy to use and they're really not that complicated and they have only been added in java 16 if i recall correctly so they're just a more concise way to basically declare a class and that would basically enabled you to very easily you know serialize this class as well but that's already it for this tutorial right here next time in this video we'll talk about json files hope to see you there so yeah